Welcome back, Styles23 here, back again with some knife therapy, and today I have for you my top 15 fifth pocket EDC knives, those little baby knives. Uh, every one of these can fit in my fifth pocket of my jeans, and the parameters I set, uh, the handle had to be at least three and a half inches or under, that's what fit into my pocket, uh, anything larger than that would stick out way too much. Uh, of course, I don't have every knife. I'm going to miss some. Uh, if I haven't reviewed it, I can't say whether it's a great knife or not. So <clears throat> just understand that. Don't get mad if I don't have your knife on here. This is, you know, in my collection, what I think is the best. But let's get started. First up, we have number 15 coming from Kaiser is a Kaiser Laib. This is uh, an Azo design, N690 steel, micarta and you can get this knife for $55 and it has one of the best actions just watch this I mean it comes out with authority I love that blade shape wish they would have came out with a bigger version of this um, I enjoy this one it's a three finger grip for me uh, it, it, I like how I can control that tip when need be that's you know that's I've used, these are usually my backup knives uh, or backups to backups um, they're still great knives, full flat grind, good slicer, N690 is a stainless steel, and like I said, that action is so addictive on here. $55, I think it's a good deal for what you're getting. And if you don't want a flipper, you could, you could get an alternative, the Kaiser Contrail, uh, 154CM, Justin Lundquist design. I added this clip, it came with just a bent stainless clip. Um, nice chunky knife, this one fills out the hand a little bit better but the action on the leave is just amazing this one's on uh bronze washers and the leaves on uh bearings all right number 14 we have the cjrb malia uh can't wait for the bigger version of this to, to drop because this one at first i thought it was gonna be way it was just way too small and it just felt kind of awkward but when i did the actual testing how you actually pull through a cut the little bulbous end right there really fills out the hand and i've tested the ar rpm 9 uh powdered uh steel and it is an excellent excellent uh budget steel uh it's stainless as well this is uh design collaborations with swags she's a super nice girl met her at blade show last year or didn't this past blade show super nice uh it is a front flipper as well um, but i prefer to use the thumb studs Deep carry pocket clip, nice and uh, low ride there. <laughs> I lost a screw, I had to put another one. Uh, left or right handed tip up carry. Excellent fidgety knife, excellent little user right here. The CJRB Malia. For 13 we have one from Civivi and it is the Civivi Baby Banter. I love these little big knives like this because even though you have such a tiny, tiny blade, that forward finger choil allows you to get a full four finger grip, at least with my medium sized hands. And you have a Nitro V stainless steel, uh, really good action. You can spotty flick it, you can slow roll it, uh, you can do all the stuff. You have a deep carry pocket clip that is tip up left or right hand carry. Very, very smooth action. Uh, I just started carrying and use this one a good bit, and I've been enjoying it a lot. He does have a bigger version of this one. You can get the Baby Banter for $59. Um, it was designed by Mr. Ben Peterson uh, from Blade HQ. The What Is Up Guys. That's what that stands for right there. Um, so if you rather a flipper, the alternative, and both of these are equally as good. And this is the Civivi Odium. The only reason I put the banter before the Odium, because the Odium's in D2, I prefer stainless Nitro V, uh, but the Odium is an awesome knife. This is a Ferrum Forge collaboration. Um, another fidgety knife with that blade hole. You can spotty flick it. You can choke up. They're both excellent, excellent knives. The uh, Odium's a little bit bigger, as you can see, and you definitely get more cutting edge off the Odium. The Odium's going to run you $55 have one coming from best tech knives and that is the best tech engine uh, this one's an s35 vn carbon fiber scales uh, titanium with their spectro anno 
I could do without that. But another little big knife. I can get a four finger grip on here. Um, wicked, wicked sharp edge on this one. I did that one myself. And this knife would have probably been a lot higher, but uh, from factory, the show side scale comes flush with the uh, lock side. So it's not hard to get to the lock. It's just not uh, very super easy. So I milled out a little section right here so I can get to that lock bar much easier. And that's why it's a little bit further down on the list. That is the Best Tech engine. And I have uh, an alternative to the engine, another Best Tech. And that is the Best Tech Zen. Uh, I love the blade shape on this one. S35VN wearing my Anno on here. Uh, these come in. The Zen comes in at $102, and the uh, engine comes in at $158. It's all titanium on the Zen. Um, titanium pocket clip, S35VN, very snappy action on this little bitty bitty knife. This one's a tiny knife um, up against the engine, which is already a small knife. I just like you, this fills out the hand better, and you got that forward finger grip to make it the little big knife. So that's why I chose it over the Zen, but if you like the Zen better, Zen's a good knife as well. And at number 11, we have a Spyderco, and that is the Spyderco Techno 2. This is a Marcin Schlies design. CTS XHP steel with that beautiful polished stone wash. Uh, I love the aesthetics of the knife. I love the finishing on the scales, the titanium scales. Uh, this is another one that would have made it a lot higher on the list but the clip being so high up is a minor hot spot for me it is fixable with um, a rips garage tech milled clip replacement uh, but as it stands it's going to sit at the number 11 spot because of the minor hot spot it gives me i still love the knife though phosphor bronze washers very smooth and uh, very, very nice looking as well. So it's a beefcake of a knife. I still, I get like a three and a half finger grip on here, but it's still comfortable because you have a thicker scale and uh, awesome little knife. Next up number 10, we have another Spyderco and that is the Spyderco Dragonfly. Uh, this is an, an awesome knife. I have, I think three or four Dragonflies. This is the Warney. They also have a drop point version as well this one is in vg10 and here's what the drop point looks like if you didn't know this was a sprint run uh the vg10 variation this exact variation right here is 73 dollars which is kind of expensive uh i'm not the biggest fan of their vg10 but uh you can also get the drop point this this one in k390 with the frn scales for 106 so that's the one i would go for if i were to buy a dragonfly again uh, i have the k390 one as well and i love it i just couldn't find it at the moment i have one coming from ramon chavez it's a chavez tack uh, this is an m390 made by riot micarta scales uh very very fidgety knife Comes out with authority. Uh, I get a three and a half finger grip on here. Good sharpening tool right there. Um, it it would have made it higher, but uh, the the micarta isn't chamfered around the sides. So whether it, it's not the the most ergonomic knife, it's kind of blocky feeling. Um, but I did. Remember, whenever I tested it, it wasn't uh, a bad hot spot when using the knife. So that's all that really matters to me. So it's still, you know, in a decent spot, I think, for, uh, you know, having those issues. I was told that the titanium variation, they, they don't have that uh, hard, the hard edges on them. So uh, I don't know if these are available at the moment. I'm sure they will be coming back in stock. So if they're not... I have an alternative and that is the Finch Knives Runtley. Cool little knife, I like it a lot. Uh, 154 cm uh, blade on here, that, that nice uh, cleaver style or warny blade shape. Contoured G10 scales, uh, mill titanium pocket clip. The Runtley is gonna run you $130, so a good bit cheaper than the TAC that is gonna run you $220. 
Um, this one's very smooth. You can use that nail nick to, uh, let me get it, my finger. You can use it to spotty flick it, or you can use it to slow roll the knife. Very, very cool knife. It is a little pricey for what it is, but it's still a good knife. I mean, all these are pretty pricey for what they are, so. That is the Finch Knives Runtly. Number eight, we have the Microtech Mini Troodon. Uh, man, this knife right here may, makes me want the regular Troodon so much. I have a combat Troodon. That's a beast. The Mini is a tiny little bugger. Um, I've always wanted the Troodon. And I almost have one gifted to me, but my buddy uh, said somebody wanted to buy it. And I told him, you know, I'd rather him get the money than then give it gift it to me so uh m390 blade steel in this tanto uh it's a it's a functional little knife and you know it's got that same microtech uh action as the rest of theirs nice and crisp usa made glass breaker on the end i could do without that deep carry pocket clip this was made in 2021 20, very snappy there uh cool little knife expensive though that's why it's down at number eight spot three hundred dollars for this bad boy you can get different blade shapes at the moment i don't know i'm sure you could find a tanto if you really really wanted it uh that is the microtech mini troodon number seven is the kaiser mini sheepdog I'll tell you what this is an awesome awesome little knife uh this particular variation is the black micarta non-flipper and 154 cm it doesn't come with this clip. This is an aftermarket uh, clip for the titanium sheepdog. You can buy it from, their, uh, from Way of Knife. So I bought a couple of them and slapped it on this one. I think it looks a lot better. Um, I can choke back like this, get a three and a half finger grip or no, three finger grip right here, and it's just fine. But without that flipper, you can choke up, and I can get a four finger grip. So nice little big knife. This action is outstanding on this knife. Um, the 154CM is is out of stock at a few places right now but you can get this knife right here in 10 cpm 10 v for 84 bucks <clears throat> this particular one in the 154 cm is 69 dollars and i'll tell you i absolutely love their 154 cm they do a great job it's black wash finish but you can get this exact variation with different colors of micarta uh canvas micarta for $84.10V, that is insane. Uh, I got one on the way, actually, because I thought they were sold out. They're still available in uh, pretty much all the colorways. You can get it in the non-flipper or flipper. I find the non-flipper much, much better of a knife because you can choke up on it. Uh, and I'm telling you, this is the action on the mini and the, the regular size, both of them, awesome. Excellent, excellent knife. Good slicers. Just an awesome staple for Kaiser knives. All right, next up, number five, we have the Concept Goblin. Just picked, just got in my XL Goblin. I liked it that much, as you can see. This is a Marshall Noble of Noble Knives collaboration with Concept, S35VN Titanium Scales. Um, it's another little big knife I can get, I can get choke up right here and get a four finger grip nice action you can spotty flick it very easily and as you can see you have this little stick up right there so you can front up <laughs> you can front flip it as well uh excellent little blade shape for detail work the mini goblin is going to run you i think it's one hold on i got it written down and mini goblin is going to want run you 138 dollars uh, excellent, excellent little knife. And if, if the small one doesn't do it for you, the XL might. All right, next up, we got number five coming from Alamic Cutlery, and that is the Alamic Busker. This is the Busker Simper, the Simper blade shape. They have a few different blade shapes. These will start, they will run you $495. Very pricey for a little bitty knife, but... Uh, I think it's well made uh, M390 blade steel and my particular one has a transparent knives regrind because that was one of my complaints about this little knife is that it was rather thick behind the edge so it just wasn't 
an excellent slicer. So I decided to get mine reground, so now it is a very, very good slicer. Excellent action. You can choke back like this and get a three finger grip, or you can come up on it and make it a little big knife and get a four finger grip if you have medium size hands. Um, I don't know, I don't remember exactly how much this one was, but like I said, they start at like $4.95. Uh, if you don't want to spend $495, I got a very cheap alternative. It's not the quality, but it's, it's, very, it's a cheaper alternative, and that is the Kershaw Ember. This is a design collaboration with Rick Hinderer. It's a tiny little guy. Um, yeah, very, probably the littlest knife on this list. This, this little knife's going to run you $25. It's Kershaw Speed Assist. Uh, tip up left or right hand deep carry pocket clip 8CR 13MOV which is just fine for such a small little blade but I just like the grip is nice and comfortable and I love this little scoop out area I used to use this knife all the time I'm just not the biggest uh, speed assist fan and you can't de-assist it so it doesn't get carried that much for me but good alternative to the Olamic Busker alright next up Coming in at number four, we have one from We Knives, and it is a We Knives Moat. I absolutely love the aesthetics of this knife. It's nice and comfortable. Uh, three, three finger, maybe three and a quarter. Uh, S35 being blade steel, decently thin blade stock. Comes down to a nice uh, thin edge. Titanium frame lock like a floating backspacer in there. This is an O-stop hell design. And uh, this knife is going to run you $169. I think it's an awesome little knife. Uh, you can still get them. I think it was on Knife Center. I know a lot of the places are sold out, but I think it was Knife Center. You can still get these. Just love the finishing work on there. We does an, an, a phenomenal job on their uh, titanium finishes and on their blade finishes as well, I think. That is a Wee Knives Moat. All right, coming in at number three, we're down to the top three. We have one coming from Quiet Carry, and that is the Quiet Carry Eddy. I love, love the streamlined design. Um, it's basically like a broomstick style handle with just a streamlined clip point blade, uh, 20 CV blade steel, blade hole right there. Easy access to that lock bar. Very, very smooth action. Wire pocket clip. Uh, it is tip up right hand carry only though. Uh, nice and lightweight. You can you can choke up in this little choke up spot. Uh, if you have fat sausage fingers, you may not better get a whole finger up in there. Uh, it fits me just fine. Uh, you can flip it, flick it out. You can't spotty flick it because you can't get to that hole. But I like how it buries itself pretty much completely into the handle uh, this one's in gray like a slate gray g10 nice peel ply very cool knife I love quiet carry knives functional jimping right there excellent excellent little knife number two this is where it changes uh, from the last time I did one of these videos is my, my number one number two coming in number two you have the giant mouse ace rev uh, this is Jasper Voxnay's design. I absolutely love the aesthetics. It looks like a small Ace Biblio. Uh, nice stone wash finish on there. Blade hole and flipper. Flipper uh, is not the best for me. It, it slips sometimes. You can see how it's like polished at the tip right there. Um, see, I just did it there. I can get it whenever I'm concentrating usually. But I prefer the blade hole. You can spotty flick it. Um, you can, I think you can thumb, you can thumb flick it, or you can slow roll it as well. Uh, green canvas micarta. You can get it in other materials. You can also get it all titanium. This one has a titanium backspacer. I think one of them has a brass backspacer. Wire pocket clip. Right hand tip up only. Um, get a nice four finger grip because that forward choil box just does an absolutely amazing job when it comes to the ergonomics and design in my opinion um, I think I said it this is an LMAX steel made by Riot excellent overseas producer um, 
these will run you $195, but if that's way out of the budget, there is an alternative. It's not one I recommend too much anymore, but if, if you need a, a cheaper knife, you can get a CRKT Pilar. This one's been heavily modified by me, um, but it's just, uh, you know, standing. They, they, they're very similar looking. The ergonomics are pretty much identical. This one, you get a little bit better of a grip on the... Uh, on the pilar actually because it feels like the choil that maybe the, the steel sticker underneath because it just feels better in that forward choil area um right now you can get uh blade hq has an exclusive in d2 and micarta with like a coated r9 coated blade for i think it's 45 dollars so if you love this design you can't swing the 195 totally understand uh, I think your next best bet would be the Pilar or the Pilarge. Uh, the the next one or the Pilar three. I think the Pilar three is probably the best of the of the group, but it's a good it's a it's a bigger knife than than both of these. All right, now we're to my number one pick. So number one, we have the Spyderco Little Native. Now this one is a sprint run, but I'm 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 this is a stand-in basically. This one's in uh, CPM Rex 45, excellent steel, but uh, the S30V is still available for $142. They're out of stock at a lot of places. Um, I know you can get it on Amazon, but they want $189. I would wait till they came back in stock. Uh, it did say Bass Pro had them in stock, but you got to be careful because sometimes they'll say they'll let you add it to the card and pay for it, and it's on back order. So I'm not sure about that. Definitely check it out. But like I said, I would wait. I wouldn't pay $189. I think that's way overpriced for S30V and G10 with compression lock. Um, this knife, it, it, it's just, it fills out the hand nicely. Uh, comfortable wire pocket clip. Compression lock. Tip up left or right hand carry. I like the blade shape. Another great little big knife right here. The Spyderco Little Native. That is my number one a knife for the fifth pocket carry. And some honorable mentions, these are awesome as well, but the only reason they did make the list is because they're either not available or they're very hard to get. First one is a very hard to get one and it is a TRM Nerd. Um, contoured, my card scales, deep carry pocket clip, tip up right hand carry only, USA made here, 20 CV blade steel, super slicey, thin blade, uh, nice little knife, but they're just very hard to get. Uh, then you have the Dan Designs Oni. I uh, tried to give this one away at the giveaway, but the guy who won it said to keep it for the channel. So I guess I might add it to another giveaway. Uh, D2 Blade Steel. This was a very fidgety knife because of the way this front flipper set up. It's very easy to front flip it. You can also spidey flick it if you try hard enough. Uh, it's a it's a it's like a two and a half finger grip. Uh, with that harpoon blade shape and another one that i just thought was the coolest looking knife you have the urban edc uh exclusive half delta forgot who these were a collaboration with i didn't i didn't make the uh i didn't get in on the drop but i bought this from knife grandpa off of instagram he did the anodization that joker theme love that blade shape just love the overall aesthetics nice little tiny knife thumb disc Titanium frame like I love the milling on the titanium. Nice smooth action. You can spidey flick this little guy too. Um, and then we have the Berg Blades Mini Slim. Another beautiful knife. But uh, these aren't the easiest to get, get a hold to. I probably should have put this on the list because I'm pretty sure my local shop has some of these available. Um... If it's not, it's either the mini or the regular, uh, the regular size ones. Uh, that's the only reason I didn't put it on the list because I wasn't sure which ones were there. But if you were looking to get a slim, definitely call Jim's Firearms in Baton Rouge and ask them if they have any available or what size because I know they had some of them. They're a Bird's Blaze distributor. And also, can't remember the name of the knife, but this little guy, this HMC machine works uh knife i got it off of fanatic edges uh site brown micarta these are made by best tech forum uh it's got a cool name i can't is it provoke not provoke 
Uh, I'll put it on the screen if I can find it. Cool little knife, uh, very snappy action. These are an M I mean, S35 VN. Very, very cool. So there you go. That is my top fin top 15 fifth pocket carry knives. Those little bitty knives. Um, I, you know, the, people carry those for many reasons. Uh, whatever you choose to carry. That's awesome. I hope you all enjoyed this. If you have any questions about any of them in particular, feel free to ask me down below. And I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. I will see you all on the next one. Peace.